Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I just filmed another video and I wanted to go right into this while I had all my stuff around me. And this is gonna be another magic mail video because I have some fun mail that I just received in the mail, including something from a friend, ah, as a surprise. She told me it was coming for my birthday and I also have a couple things that I ordered. So I'm just gonna get right on into it. The first thing that I have in my hands is actually the newest thing that just came yesterday. And this is from eBay. I bid on this because it is a Lunar New Year pin, and it's my first time seeing it. Yes, it's so pretty. Okay, so I actually do have my Lunar New Year um, decorations behind me. I show that in my Year of the Year swap for Lunar New Year for January. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. I'll point to it above here and put it in the video description below. These are actually some of the ears that I made myself for the Lunar New Year. They have a fun little Mickey Mouse, and I just thought they were fun to have Mickey in his Lunar New Year outfit, and then like a Chinese lantern on that side, and... This actually is a Tokyo Disney Resort pin that came out in 2016. 2016 was the year that I actually had a chance to go to Tokyo for the very first time in my life, very only time in my life so far, but I had such an amazing trip when I went back there in 2016, and I wasn't collecting pins at the point, but I do remember that when I started collecting pins in 2018, two years later, I did ask my parents to look for some pins and they couldn't find any. And I remembered when I was there, I had trouble finding them too. So I don't know where they sell them in um, in Disneyland in Tokyo. I do know that it's very specific there. They only have certain stores for certain products. And when I asked about a magnet, I was looking for magnets at the time, I couldn't find any magnets and they had pointed me back to one store that was all the way back in the middle of the park and I was at the end um, entrance to that point, it was raining. So we didn't go and we didn't get the magnet. And so when my parents went, they did get me a magnet and they also bought me a Tokyo Disney Sea pin, which was amazing because I got my first ever pin from the park. This pin that I ordered is actually a 2016 pin for Lunar New Year. So because it's for the year that I actually visited Tokyo, I wanted to add it to my, to my Lunar New Year pin collection because it was a really nice little touch. So at the bottom it does say, um, it has Japanese characters. I'm assuming it does say Happy New Year because it has the two different uh, symbols and then it says 2016. And Minnie is wearing a beautiful outfit and so is Mickey. They both have the signature um, Japan Japanese slippers. I forget what they're called at this point. It's been a while since they went there. But what's cool is that behind them they have a bunch of attractions. So you can see the castle, which is so prominent in Tokyo. And you can also see the big mountain, the big old volcano with the lava um, sign on the side. So these are things that you do see in Tokyo Disney. And because it had these iconic features on it and this girl had a good price. Let me show you guys a close up. This is the pin of Mickey and Minnie. Hopefully that's focusing and I just think it's gorgeous. You can see the scroll with the 2016. Such a lovely, lovely pin and Mickey and Minnie look beautiful in this. So this is my first purchase and so excited to add this to my Lunar New Year pin board. I will have it up in time for February um, around the time that Lunar New Year actually will be since I don't have a background still to go into. Hopefully by the time this video comes up I will have just moved back into my room. That'll be great. Next thing I'm gonna open, um, I do have another Asian um, package to get into, but we'll save that. This one is actually from um, a friend, someone that I follow on Instagram, Disney Sidekick. Actually, he's Asian, haha, <laughs> that's funny. Um, but this I've actually had a little bit longer. I just haven't had a chance to open up my mail, and I think I got this around the beginning of January. It looks, it was dated on January 6th, so I probably got this on the 7th or something because he is also in California, not too far away from me, so it didn't take that long to arrive. At any rate, he put it in this nice bubble wrap envelope, so thank you so much for that. Brian. Oh, he gave me something extra. So cool. So he is an Instagrammer who was just like huge. If you don't follow him already, go follow Disney Sidekick. This is his handle, Disney Sidekick, and he has such like fun um he posts a lot of things of what's going on in Disneyland or he posts what's new in Disney products or Shop Disney or he posts some fun fashionista, um, fashionisto <laughs> uh, pictures because he's always like on top of things. But look at this, Disney sidekick with Aladdin and holding the lamp because he does love Aladdin. This is such a cool little button. So he recently went to Walt Disney World and while he was there, I reached out to him and I said, hey, do you do pickups? <laughs> because he had done them occasionally a couple of times in California and he said um, as long as it was like something that wasn't selling out that he'd be willing to do so. So he did do this pickup for me. And it's the I Collect Holiday Pin that was released exclusively in Walt Disney World at the end of 2020. He sent me this I Collect Holidays Pin and I didn't already have it. And it's so pretty. Okay, so the front of it is like a pin 
case like the other ones the pin books and you have like a little silhouette of mickey minnie popping through the center and it does say holiday in the middle i collect holiday pins pin trading logo and this is the backer card like the other ones and when you open it up it's a bunch of holiday christmas pins like i have this one this is actually from the tiny kingdom series with the mickey wreath um i love that i love that they're wearing scarves here you've got a peppermint mickey you've got little like holly you've got a drum set um, with like Kwanzaa colors, I believe, probably, because that would be a, a holiday type of thing. You've got some gold coins representing Hanukkah, gingerbread Mickey, of course, a little uh, candle. So fun, fun little features on this particular pin. Of course, I love the gingerbread Mickey the most, but this is just an adorable little pin. And I, the second I saw this was released, I knew that I wanted it. Um, people were asking way too much for it at the time. So I'm glad that I got a nice, decent pickup price from Ryan. So thanks again, Disney Sidekick, for getting this for me. And yeah, I really appreciate that. I mean, would not have had access to that otherwise. So those are the two pins that I have. Um, I'm going to show you next. I have a box of ears in here. I'll go to that right after. I'm going to actually go back to my Asian mail. <laughs> this is something that I recently ordered from a shop called Bello Shop HK. I found them on Instagram. They had like 17,000 followers or something like that. And I was like, all right, so they have a pretty big following. I don't think they're scam artists because if you saw my channel two years ago, I did get scammed from Instagram. Um, but a couple of people that I follow were following them. At any rate, what made me really excited about Bella Shop HK is that they have shoppers. His shirt is off. Um, they have shoppers that go to Hong Kong, to Shanghai, and to Japan. So basically in all the three Asian Disney parks, it's like my dream come true. And I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. And their prices are pretty decent. They're not super inflated. There's some people that I've been buying from in the past who I think they do inflate their prices a little bit, which is why I'm always like hesitant to order from them because it doesn't make sense if you're paying a markup and then another markup on the shipping. And then there's some people that um, say their prices are so-and-so with shipping. And then if you want to buy two different items, they're like, okay, so then it's that shipping price. And then this one with the shipping price again, you're like, well, then I'm paying for shipping twice. Why am I doing that? Which I don't like that model. And then they have um, the website that you can put all the items in there and then it calculates and lets you know in advance what your shipping will be. Personal shoppers can't even tell you that. They won't tell you how much the shipping is until they have the weight. This website tells you, so you know that it's going to be like $13, it's going to be $9, it's going to be $11. It actually will tell you, which I really appreciated. Because of that, I did go ahead and place an order. And I placed my first ever order for a lucky bag, which I will have on this channel very soon. But right now, I have here in my hands the um, Get It Now items. They do have some items on their website, besides the brand new things and whatever they pick up on a regular basis that says get it now and if it says get it now it means they have it currently in stock in hand and you can pay for it and they will ship it out to you in the next couple of days and that's what they did with this one um they have a 7 to 21 turnaround timeline for the regular products and for this one they try to get it out within five to seven days so i got this one already they shipped it out finally and then like four or five days later it arrived at my door so these are the three things that i got these are all actually tokyo products that i wanted to get and they're from the Tokyo Disney Resort, starting with this one. This is a Mickey balloon keychain from the Tokyo Disney Park. I never thought I would have access to this. You can see it actually does have the price originally. It was 800 yen, and I think I paid um, 11. I'll put on the screen what I paid for it so you can know the difference markup, but it says the original price was 800 yen for this item that I wouldn't have had access to otherwise. And it is literally a Tokyo Disney balloon. Just like the ones I saw when I went in 2016 with Mickey Mouse's head in the center and it says Tokyo Disney Resort and I had my choice of color. I chose a red one and it does say Tokyo Disney Resort on the back with the copyright Disney logo. This is so cute. I cannot wait to put this on one of my bags because I think these little charms are adorable. I know I have a million keychains but something fun and festive like this and from an Asian park that I wouldn't have access to otherwise makes me so happy. So that's that, my first item. The second thing, I've shown you that I have one pair of ears from any of the Asian parks that's from Tokyo Disney, and it's the Cherry Blossom ears that came out a couple years ago. They were called the Sakura ears. I love them, they're pink, they're beautiful. I saw a mini version of them in keychain form. And they're broken. And of course I had to get it. I have these ears. Now I have the keychain version of it. You guys can see the price there says this was 900 yen. I believe this one was 13 so that was like a $4 so dollar markup, I believe. Um, I'll put what it on screen happened? again. And you what can happened? see it's the little cherry blossom ears. And they're just forming the little bow and everything. And this came from Tokyo Disney and has a tag right here, made in China, Tokyo Disney Resort. 
So cool. I love seeing these official items. So another fun keychain to add to my collection. Looks like they included a thank you, welcome to my shop card with the little envelope and it says, we'd love to hear from you, dear customer, good day. Thank you for selecting us. We hope what you purchase from us can meet your demands. We continuously work to improve our service. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact us. We would like to take all responsibility and provide you a satisfactory solution. Meanwhile, if you had a pleasant buying experience, we'd appreciate so much for leaving us five stars review or feedback on our Facebook page, which we recognize to our efforts and motivation to us. Thank you for trusting us in advance, Bella Shop HK. And then they gave their Facebook page. Again, I found them on Instagram, so I guess they are also on Facebook. Yay, so that's good to know. And they also slipped in an official Tokyo Disney Resort bag in my package as well. These are always fun to have, so I will hold on to this and keep it. I think these are really cute. Okay. And I hadn't had one from recent years, so this is really pretty to see how it's changed. The ones I all have are the ones that say 35 anniversary, because that's back when I went. The last item that I got is a pen, and this one was an 800, 800 yen item. Also paid 13 for this, and this says Tokyo Disney Resort. And I saw this as a churro pen, and I was like, I love churros! Why not? This is so cute. Oh my gosh. So the wrapper says Tokyo Disney Resort, where dreams come true, has a picture of Mickey saying, let's go, Pluto, Minnie, you've got Donald, Daisy, Chippendale, and Goofy. So not only do you have the Sensational Six, you actually have Chippendale as well, all on this little iconic little wrapper. That is adorable. And this looks like a churro from the parks. It's making me miss it so badly right now. I want one. Um, I can't go anywhere right now. I'm just staying home. Then <laughs> the back it says Tokyo Disney Resort, and you can see if I take this out the wrapper, it looks just like a churro that you could eat. Oh my god, I would just love to do that. But here is a little part that you hit the partition, so that is where the pen part comes out. I love it! I cannot wait to use my new churro pen. I love specialty pens. My son wants to show you his litter near ears. Oh no, they fell off. <laughs> Put them back on. Put them back on. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> My son loves wearing ears. He really does. Okay, he sees mama wear them all the time. So this is a fun specialty pen. I love specialty pens. Love my churro pen and love my two new keychains. So those are all from the Get It Now. So even though I ordered Lunar New Year pins and a lucky bag, They'll be coming separately, and I have been in contact with them back and forth. They have a feedback page where you can, like, ask them about your order, and they are very responsive. So, so far, I'm really enjoying my experience with this new company, and I like that I got these items pretty fast. Can't wait to use all three of them. Hey, guys. So, I just got two new pin boxes from Hong Kong delivered to me, and I'm excited to go see it. But let me show you what it says in the customs form. I literally just pulled this out, and it says plush doll to... These are supposed to be pin boxes, but I don't know what translated to plush doll. Say. I have it in this box here. It's from Bello Nine. Shop. Bello Shop. Let's open it. Oh. Definitely not two plush dolls. So. Yeah, it's our boxes. I got mine. Happy New Year. These are from Hong Kong. It says Hong Kong Disneyland. The price over there is 105 Hong Kong dollars. I recently found out that each dollar, American dollar, is like seven Hong Kong dollars. So let's do the math. Each box contains two random pins. It's interesting how much of this is in English, but I cannot wait to go into this. Apparently, neither can my son. So I can have a choice of four different pins. But I have Mickey, Minnie, Goofy, Donald, Stitch, Pluto, Chip, and Dale. Um, actually, this is Donald and Daisy, and that's the cow. So those are all the different choices, ten different pins, two options in each. Can't wait to see which ones I get. Let's do it. Pin number one. Is Minnie Mouse! Of all the ones I wanted, Minnie and Mickey the most, and Minnie is gorgeous. I do already have Mickey, I believe, that I got from a live sale that's on, on its way to me from Hong Kong as well. But this is beautiful. And, ooh, I got the cow! Or it's actually an ox, because this is the year of the ox, I should say. But I do have an ox, which represents this year, which is pretty appropriate. I love the flower and detail on this. Such a cute pin. Now let's open our second box. Okay, Nicholas, what was in your pin? Please let me know. In the meantime, oh no, I do have an extra Mickey. So I did purchase one of these. But I also got Mickey outright. I purchased it on the off chance I did not get Mickey, but I do have him. So he's an extra trader. <gasps> we got Stitch! Oh, that's so cool! We have Stitch with a little bit of purple. Oh, this is so cute. Minnie. 
Oh, and Minnie has like a little deer on the side. That's really pretty. I really like Minnie. She's my favorite. Mickey just has like money, a money symbol right down there. You guys see that? That's pretty cool. Gold and a hidden Mickey on the side. And then the ox has a cool little sun symbol right in the center. You can see the two horns and a hidden Mickey right there as well. The next thing that I have is actually something that my friend sent to me. It does say Magic Mountain Ears on the label, which I don't think she wanted me to know. She wanted it to be labelless when it was sent. But it was sent by my good friend Christy at Christy's Corner. You guys have mentioned, heard me mention her name a million times because she and I are like best friends and send each other a lot of gifts back and forth all the time. So, um, yeah, she bought me something for my birthday. My other best friend at this point, Jessie, who's another subscriber of mine, who I talk about all the time as well. Um, Jessie, I know, did get me a birthday present as well, and she's waiting until I'm no longer in quarantine to see me. She keeps at, like, leaving hints. She's like, when are you absolutely done with quarantine? When would be the earliest that I'd be able to see you? And I'm like, she must have my birthday present. She thinks she's being sneaky, but she's not. Um, at any rate, <laughs> she did tell me that she bought me something for my birthday, but it wasn't ready yet when my birthday came around. Christy told me that she had also ordered me ears before my birthday, but that they hadn't been sent out yet. And they were sent out, so I knew that I was expecting ears from Christy. She told me not to buy any small shop ears for the time being. I have an inkling of what these might be now that I know they're Magic Mountain ears, because Christy knows that they're Magic Mountain ears are one of my favorite small shops, and that there was a pair of ears that I was eyeing from them, and I don't have it yet. So I'm curious to see if that's one that she bought for me. We're going to find out right now. It does say a gift from you and joy from Christie's Corner. Aww. And it does say what it is. So it's, I was right. I was right. I see the ears. Okay, let me take this off. <laughs> so she got me the little mermaid ears that I have been eyeing for forever. They're like Ariel's clamshells in purple, my favorite color, with a nice green sequin bow in the center because everyone knows that's Ariel's colors of her fins. So gorgeous, love these ears, they're 3D. I cannot wait to wear this to Disney parks, especially to California Adventure in the future, and wear this right in front of the Little Mermaid ride. I go to Disney World in Florida, I'll have to wear this Magic Kingdom in front of their Little Mermaid ride. I love it, thank you, Christy. Oh, thank you. <laughs> she actually did order these this pair of ears for um, Ashley from Ashley's Grotto, who's also a Little Mermaid fan. For a, new year, for a year of the ear swap and I was like oh, I'm so jealous you know I would like that she's like I knew you would want those I knew it so I had a feeling these are the ears that she'd be ordering for me too since she knew I was a fan so thank you again Christy and thank you Magic Mountain Ears for making these because they're awesome ears and make amazing 3D ears and I just think they're so stunning and I will definitely get a lot of great use out of this so new ears new year new ears new year new ears and a very happy birthday to me from Christy. Thank you, Christy. <laughs> so I have one more package to open, and this is from Shop Disney. Excited to see if this includes something particular I've been waiting on. I do have another Shop Disney package that I ordered in December, and I never showed on my channel. I don't know if I'll have time to put it in this video, but it'll be its own video. I might actually include this with my other new video of Disney Parks items because I did order from this Shop Disney, but let's see. Okay, it does have it. It has it. Yay! All right, so first and foremost, we have that. In this package is a sweater that I have wanted since last January. January 2020, this came out, and I saw Alyssa Leffeson wearing it, actually, in one of her videos, because she picked it up at Disney World, and I've wanted it ever since. And it was sold out online, so I couldn't get it. All of a sudden, they had restocked it. I've been looking for this item forever, and I restocked it online on Shop Disney, and I ordered so fast. But I ordered two different ones, because I didn't know my size, so that is one... Here's the other because Disney clothing, you never know what size you are and I don't want to take the chance. But this is the sweater. It does say Walt Disney World in all colors. I love this so, so much. I love that it's like rainbow colored on this nice simple gray sweater. And I can't wait to try this on and hopefully it fits me in this size or the other one. I think I got a medium and a large, but I'm very excited to see if this fits and if it's the perfect idea of what I was envisioning all this time. So there's nothing on the back. It's kind of like a reverse spirit jersey because it does have the font all in the front, but I love it says Walt Disney World in this beautiful colored font and it's such a classic look for a girl that loves, classically loves Disney World. So, so excited to finally have this in my possession. Yay, I love it. It fits. It looks good on me. I like it a lot. 
I have something to wear if I go into the parks in Walt Disney World now in the cold months. Yay! Walt Disney World! So those are the two main things I ordered from Shop Disney. And then the other thing is here. These are the pin boxes. I'm just going to go ahead and open this right now. It is the new mystery poster pins that came out, Series 2. I previously opened Series 1 on my channel when they came out last year and I had to go ahead and order these when I found out that one of the mystery pins in here is a Sword in the Stone pin. I cannot wait. So that is it right there. I know it's kind of out of focus, but there is a Snow White one, which I'll give to my friend if I get that, a Cinderella one, a Jungle Book one, and Peter Pan. Let's see what I got right now. <laughs> my first pull, my first pull. Literally is the Sword in the Stone mystery one. One of the question mark ones. This is the one that I wanted the most, so I am so excited right now. It does say Walt Disney, the Sword in the Stone. Nicholas is playing with his toy. It says Walt Disney, the Sword in the Stone. Whiz, bang, wizard of whimsy. And it has all the text from the original poster. Madame Mim is on here, it's amazing. And there's a crocodile. There's her as the dinosaur. Oh my gosh, oh my goodness. There is um, Wart pulling out the sword from the stone, the iconic scene, and at the very top is the dog with the bone. And it's a tiny font, but it says, tired of seeing, tired of serving in a medieval mess. Merlin uses all his magic powers to change a scenery, to change a scrawny boy into a legendary hero. It's a really tiny font, but there you go. I read it. Woohoo! But gorgeous little pin, and it's like a movie poster that is emblematic of the original poster. And on the back it says copyright Disney 2021, all the other little icons. But my first pull was exactly the one that I wanted the most from this. Hopefully my next one will be another win. Let's see. Okay, it's the one that I was like least excited for. It says Walt Disney's Peter Pan. It will live in your heart forever. And it's got Peter Pan, you've got Hook and the different uh, band of pirates at the bottom. Oh, you even have the um, the boys, the Lost Boys and Tiger Lily in the boat at the bottom. You've got Wendy and all her brothers. There's even Nana. Very cute and adorable. I just, I'm not the biggest Peter Pan collector, so this will definitely be a trader. I'll put this up for trade immediately, but excited that I got this um, to have a trader. But more excited that I got this one. That just made my day. So sorry to my friend Jessie, I did not get the Snow White one that you were hoping for, but. <laughs> and I'm very happy to finally open this mail. So that is my mail today. Hope you guys enjoyed seeing this. Let me know in the comments what your favorite item was. One more item. It actually was in the bag in this little like plastic thing. I thought it was just like the protection. I forgot I opened, I ordered this until I saw my packing slip, but I got this Mulan pin. It's the one that I never got from last year because it was on sale for $6, and so I decided to go ahead and order this as well when I was making the shop on Disney online order. So it's Mulan holding a sword, and on the other side is the horse, and also some characters, and it's a limited release pin that came out last year. Didn't already have it, but for $6, I was like, I will definitely add this to my Mulan collection. So one more pin. Very excited to have this one too. To only pay $6 for it. Even better. As thank you again to my friend Christy, Magic Mountain Ears, for those beautiful ears. That I'm wearing right now and thank you to Disney Sidekick for sending me those, that beautiful pin and for the girl for, I've been trading for on eBay for doing a great deal with me so excited for my 2016 pin and for my fun items from Hello Bello Hello Bello Bello Shop H K. I just can't wait to continue to get some mail from them because I'm very excited to find a new service that has all three Asian parts available their merch is finally available within my fingertips and I love that Okay guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Talk to you soon. Bye! Bye!